Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some new Easter and spring decor I wanted to share with you guys. I actually picked up a ton of stuff recently. For some reason, I just cannot get enough of the cute Easter and little bunny decor that they have out everywhere, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I have some of it sitting here, and then I'm also going to take you around my house and show you kind of how I decorated with the other stuff. So I'll just jump right into it. First of all, I picked up a couple of these Ray Dunn Hippity Hop mugs. I actually have a set of these myself. I have them over in my coffee station, but I found another set, so I called my sister and asked her if she wanted a set. So I got these for her, and I'm going to stick them in her Easter basket. Next, I picked up some of these cute little carrots from Hobby Lobby. I have another set of these, and I just think they're so cute. I think I showed you guys. I had them sitting in my china cabinet and some of my Ray Dunn bowls, and I think these were around $2.50 or $3.00 they were on sale for 40% off. Next, I picked up a couple of Easter mugs. I was going through my mug collection and I realized I didn't have any Easter mugs, which I have no idea how that happened because you guys know about my mug obsession. So I decided to go on the hunt for a couple of cute Easter mugs and these are the two that I ended up finding at TJ Maxx. So this one has the little bunny face and then this one right here, this one is my favorite. I love the cute little bunnies on this one. And then on the inside, it has another bunny on the bottom. Next, I picked up this cute little bunny bowl here from Home Goods. Home Goods and TJ Maxx, I swear, have the cutest. Easter and spring decor right now, you guys. Oh, and I also picked up this wooden bowl back here the other day from Target, and then I just stuck some of these eggs in here. I think they look so pretty. I love the look of these natural wood bowls, and I actually found this one over in the garden section. I also ended up getting one of those bunny poofs. You guys can see it right back there. I also found that in the dollar spot at Target. It's just a little keychain, and I thought it was adorable. I picked up this Happy Spring Ray Dunn platter in hopes that spring is going to be coming soon. I know there's still a few days until the official start of spring, but lately it has been so cold here in Michigan. We've been getting snow almost every single day. It just feels so wintry, and I want spring to come so bad. So I thought, hey, maybe if I buy this little platter and put it out, spring will finally come. Wishful thinking. I picked up a couple of these white bunnies from the dollar spot at Target. I think I ended up getting three of them. These were $3 a piece. If you guys watch my latest shopping vlog, then you probably saw them. If you guys haven't watched that video and would like to, I will have it linked below and at the end of this video. I also wanted to show you guys this canister here. This is actually a Ray Dunn tea canister, and then I stuck this bunny treats decal on here. I thought this was so cute for Easter. And then I had bought another canister that had these bunny ears on top, so I added the top of this one onto the tea canister, if that makes any sense, and then this cute little carrot. So I'm just using this to keep marshmallows treats in, and honestly, I think this thing is so cute that I'm probably gonna leave it this way all the time originally. I was just gonna have it like this for Easter, but I think I'm gonna keep it this way all the time and like I said just keep marshmallows little treats in there Also, I feel like it's been a while since I've done a marshmallow video So if you guys would like to see a new marshmallow video give this video a thumbs up and I will definitely film it I also picked up this cute little bunny banner here. This is from Joanne fabrics I just thought this was the cutest little bunny banner ever and I love that it's a little bit smaller I was looking for something to put in my coffee station and I just think that this works perfectly here this garland actually also lights up. It came with a little box that was attached so you could add batteries, but I just removed mine because I didn't really plan on having it lit and I didn't want the box hanging down. Like I said, I just wanted to have this in my coffee station. I could have still had the box hanging down. I just didn't like the way it looked and like I said, I didn't plan on having it lit. So that is what it looks like. So cute. Here's a close up of the bunnies. Look how cute their little tails are. And then over here in this corner, I have my Ray Dunn Easter mugs. Like I said, these are the same ones that I got my sister. And then I also stuck some of these carrots from Hobby Lobby over here on this tiered stand. And then I also have my bunny treats canister over here. So this is how my coffee station looks all decorated for Easter. Next, I went to Bath & Body Works and I picked up some soaps. They're having an amazing deal right now on soaps. They are six for 18. And then I also had a 20% off coupon and I also had a gift card for $12. So I think I only ended up having to pay $3 for all of these soaps, which is amazing. So first of all, I ended up getting this one here, which is First Bloom. And I think the packaging on this is so pretty. And this one just has a nice floral scent to it. 
Next, I picked this one up, which is Sunshine and Lemons. I always love the scent of lemon soaps. And again, I think the packaging on this is very pretty. And lastly, I picked up a soap for Bill. This one is in the scent Ocean. He really likes this scent. I don't think he's ever tried the soap, but he has it in the hand sanitizer, and I know he really likes this one. So I got this one for him to go in the bathroom in his man cave. I also picked up one other soap. This one is from Home Goods. I absolutely love these soaps. This one is in the scent Vintage Rose. I also have the lemon scent in my kitchen and it smells amazing. I also love the way the packaging on this looks. Another nice thing about these soaps is they come in a nice glass bottle. So once you're done using them, you can actually repurpose the bottle. I'm actually using mine in my laundry room and I just stuck some of my laundry soap in there and then it's just nice and easy to pump out. Next, I picked up a couple of cleaning supplies in the dollar spot at Target right now. They have some gorgeous springy cleaning supplies. I'll actually insert a clip right here so you guys can see some of the stuff because they have such pretty things right now. So I ended up getting a couple of the spray bottles. These were only $1 and I thought these were super pretty and I just always love having pretty cleaning supplies. It just makes cleaning that much more enjoyable if you guys know what I'm talking about. So I ended up getting this one with the pretty roses. This one that says so fresh and clean. And then I also ended up getting another one, but it's actually in my laundry room. I can't remember what that one says, but it has some pink on it. And then lastly, I picked up some of these gorgeous cleaning gloves that match the rose spray bottle. Like I said, I just love having pretty cleaning supplies. It just makes me want to clean. I don't know. I'm always somebody who enjoys cleaning and then having pretty cleaning supplies. Just It just makes it that much better. I also have a few new Easter goodies that I have over here in my entryway. So this is what it looks like all decorated for Easter. First of all, I have this sign hanging here that says Bunny Trail. I found this at Home Goods and I am just absolutely in love with this. Next hanging on my front door is this gorgeous speckled egg wreath. I found this at Pier 1 and this was actually on clearance. I bought this online and it was on clearance. I thought this was super pretty. So here is a little bit of a close up of what it looks like. Like I said, I just love the natural looking eggs on this and then it also has some moss. I think this is so pretty. I finally found the perfect bunny pillow, you guys. Again, if you had watched my shopping vlog, you saw that I was trying to decide between two bunny pillows. Well, I didn't end up getting either of them because I couldn't decide. And then I finally found this cute one at Target. So I just have this one sitting on this wicker trunk in our entryway. I also wanted to show you guys this set of three mixing bowls that my mom actually got me for Valentine's Day. I had posted a picture of these on Instagram and I was getting so many questions asking what brand these are. So she found these at TJ Maxx and on the bottom it says they are by the brand Terramoto Ceramic. I don't know if you guys can maybe find them online, but I am so in love with these bowls. So thank you so much, mom. I absolutely love these cute little bowls. This right here is probably one of my favorite things that I picked up, who knows, maybe by now I've probably said that about everything that I've showed you guys, let's hope not. I found this at Walmart and I think this was only $6 and I wanna say 87 cents. I can't remember the exact price, but I know these were under $7. I absolutely love these. So they had a bunch of different ones. I think they had Blessed Things and of course the Farmhouse one, which is by far my favorite favorite. I was so excited when I found these, you guys, and I actually got a couple of these to use for Easter baskets. I thought these would be so perfect to give gifts in, and then the person can reuse them. I'm actually kind of wishing that I would have picked up a few more of these because they are just perfect for storing things and they look really nice. I'm actually using this one in my laundry room to store some extra stuff. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks so nice in here. Like I said, I may have to go back and pick up a few more of these while they still have some. Next, I picked up some of these cute little carrots from Marshalls. I don't know why, but lately I've kind of been obsessed with carrots as well as bunnies. So I'm just gonna kind of have these setting out in my kitchen and in a few places. I might put a couple in my china cabinet. Over here, I just have some sitting on top of my stove and I just think they look really cute. And then I also found some of these little baby carrots at the Dollar Tree and I just thought these were so adorable. So I picked up some for me and some for my mom. 
This is probably one of my favorite things that I picked up. It is this carrot garland. I found this at Home Goods. Again, I had showed you guys this in my shopping vlog. I love the nice bright pop of color this gives my china cabinet. Here's a little bit of a close up of the carrots. I just think they are so cute. I'm so excited about these next two Ray Dunn pieces, you guys. I've been wanting these for the longest time, and I came home the other day, and my husband is so sweet. He surprised me with these. I am so excited that I finally have tools, you guys. If you guys collect Ray Dunn, then you probably know that this one is super hard to find, so I am so excited to finally have this guy here. And then this one is one that I had actually seen in the past, and I kind of passed it up. I don't know why. I didn't think I needed this one, and then later I just Excited. I really wanted this one so I am just super happy and excited that he got these for me so thank you so much Bill you are the best husband ever if any of you guys collect Ray Dunn leave me a comment down below and let me know what your greatest in search of item is I'm always just curious to know what people are looking for I think I am pretty much done for the most part other than I really want to get some Halloween items this year but for the most part I think I am very happy with my collection. My husband also surprised me for Valentine's Day with the sweets and treats canisters. Those were probably one of my biggest in search of items. So like I said, my husband is just so amazing. But yeah, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys are looking for. I know around here people are going crazy over the birdhouses, which that is probably one item that I'm just really not interested in. I think they're cute, but it's just, it's nothing that I need, so. Let me know if you guys are as crazy over the birdhouses as everyone is around here. All right, I just got done filling up the treat jar. Let's, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder if they heard me, but yes, they did, look. I think Muffin was sleeping and then they come looking for treats. It's so funny. You want a treat? Oh, they come for the treats. They love the treats. You want a treat? <laughs> They get so crazy when it comes to treats. And these are their favorite right here. I feel like I'm teasing them. Hold on, let me see if I can focus on this. These actually look like little cookies. Look how pretty these are. They have pink in the middle. It looks like a regular cookie. So these are from Petco and the dogs love these. You ready for treats? I think they're ready for treats. Oh my gosh, she about took off my finger. They will about take off my finger when it's treat time. I'm scared, they're like little sharks. I also picked up some of these gorgeous hydrangeas from Target. I actually ended up getting a few of these because I thought these were super pretty and these were only $16.99. I love that they have the fake water in them. I just think these look really nice and realistic and they just bring some spring vibes into my house without always having to pick up fresh flowers. I have this one sitting here in my entryway, so it's one of the first things you see when you come in. And like I said, I just love the fresh and springy feel these bring to my home without having to always buy fresh flowers. And then I also have another one over here in my kitchen on my countertop. And then I also have another one of these gorgeous hydrangeas in my office. If you guys cannot tell, I'm just a little bit obsessed with these flowers. Like I said, for the price, I think they are amazing and I just think they look very real and pretty. I also picked up some new toys for the pups. So first of all, I picked up a couple of these adorable little frogs from Burlington. I think these were $4.99. And the reason that I got two of them is because they felt like they were really nice and durable and I just thought they were so adorable. And Madison is still kind of in that stage where she likes to tear toys up really fast. Muffin and Molly are older and they don't do that so much anymore, but Madison loves trying to get the squeakers out and tearing all of the stuffing out of her toys, which I guess that's not too bad. At least she's tearing up the toys and not anything else and then I also bought this cute little guy here this little llama is from Marshall's I had actually bought this one for the dogs before but I'm pretty sure they've torn it up by now it's no longer with us so I decided to get another llama but yeah I just love these little frogs and like I said they feel like they're really nice and durable for dog toys all right guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I also wanted to quickly let you know that I am going to be doing my pantry tour video next. I know a lot of you have been waiting to see that. So here's a little sneak peek of what my pantry looks like. I'm so excited to share it with you guys.
So definitely stay tuned for that video. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will talk to you in my next video.